Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. It's actually Tuesday evening, but I'm putting this video together tonight because tomorrow I am going to be spending time and caring for the children. So I won't have time to do the video, but I'm going to put this out. You will see this Wednesday afternoon. And I spent Tuesday most of the day outsourcing jewelry at numerous locations, trying to find some lovely pieces, um, some for me and some for you. Um, so let me get started showing you what I found. If you see anything you're interested in, if um, you may contact me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. The email is always down in the description section underneath my video. Um, if you do get in contact with me um, to buy something, it may take me a few hours to get back with you because I will be caring for the baby and um, my old, my youngest daughter and my older grandson, he's 11. So there's a 12 year old, 11 year old and an eight month old. The baby keeps me pretty busy, so I won't be able to, I may answer emails and say, oh yes, I'll get back with you in the evening if I do have any interest. But you know, besides that, it'll take me until the evening to get prices and so forth if there is any interest prior to this. So some of the, these items may also show up at Thrifty Thursday. Um, I will be on at 12 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Um, I spring jewelry. Um, I typically sell from $5 to $30 on that day, the items that I bring. All right, let me get started. I've got this big tray in front of me. Um, I got some bags, a little bag of Christmas jewelry, too. Let me, like... I'll leave this here so you can look at it, but let me move the lovely necklaces out so I can show them to you. This one's fabulous. No idea what the uh, origin of that is, but I'm going to move that for a minute. All right, let me start off with this one. Look at this. This is lovely. Okay. I don't see a maker's mark on it. I'm going to look this up in my bead book. I doubt it'll be in there, but you never know. I'd like to see if these... Ceramic, I think? Or it's heavy. I think it's brass, brass pieces, and then these lovely red. These are like a. Be careful with like a glass or ceramic. Not really sure. And they have decorations on them, as you can see. This looks vintage to me, and lovely as well. Let me double it up again and hang it up. That's some type of like leather or cord there. I think it's really pretty. I picked that up. I picked this up for Eva, some of her earrings. She's starting to pay attention and want to change, and I figured I can hang them and, you know, she can hang them in there, give her something to do. I'll probably help her, but it's cute. It's a, I thought it was cute. It's like got a little name back here, Tomco or something. I don't know who that is. Torino. That's cute. She'll like that. All right, this is fabulous. Well, wait, let me show you my box. I got myself a box. This is going to help me store. This is vintage. Buxton, USA. B U X T O N. It clips open. And I gotta clean it out, but this is like a velvety fabric. It's a place to put some earrings or brooches and then hang earrings in there. This opens up, closes. I will clean this and store some jewelry in it. This is a very lovely. Let me lift it up. There's Colette. She is on my mystery uh, pearls with the fabulous um, Art Deco style clasp, or Art Deco, I think it's just style. But those pearls are amazing, they're glass and they are separated by a knot. I'm trying to figure out what those are. <laughs> I think there's something good, let me close this up. Okay, I'm on, this is a lovely Monet. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the, sorry I pulled it away, I will put it back. I think it says 1980s by the, um, I gotta move this. There we go. This is lovely. Plastic or acrylic in there. Gold tone, gold plating that is very good. The Monet marking is right there. This is really nice. It has a J hook and an extender and it's a nice necklace. Let me I have put these aside over here. I am very careful with the jewelry once I get it. All of this jewelry is thrifted today. Uh, it's all fabulous. I, I, I traveled all around my surrounding areas to find it, and I think it's all pretty great. Um, I'm guessing this, I don't know who this is, actually. This looks like a Napier or a Trafari. There's no tag on it. I'll look at it better, but I sold not long ago one similar. But they do make neck. This looks like the Trafari, or was it Napier? I don't know. I don't see a tag on it. I'll have to look at it, but it's nice. 
I try to pick out the best quality, you know, that I can in condition when I am picking up jewelry um, to keep or to sell. Because I do keep some for myself. I have started collecting myself, and I'm happy to be able to find. I find fabulous things. This is a nice Napier gold plate. It needs wiped up a little bit. But it's nice. It's Napier written in script. There's a hang tag on it. And I think it says Napier. There's the hang tag there. It's nice. Little V's at the end. Little Napier. There's that. This is a new name for me. Of course, I grabbed it, and I did look it up briefly. It's a nice vintage Carly, C-A-R-L-Y-L-E. This is really nice, actually. Look at the clasp. It's a, I gotta button it up looking. It's a box clasp, pretty cool, because it has these nice green, that, that's acrylic or plastic, whatever you wanna call it there. Um, nice, nice necklace, it's vintage. I'm going to read up on it a little bit. It's a new name to me. I always pick them up when they're new names. This is nice as well. Everything's nice, right? I think it is or I wouldn't buy it um, typically. Or, or if I know it's something that somebody would have an interest in, it's another I am more partial to buy it as well. This is Moon Glow um, Listener. Here's the tag. It has it marked. Let me make sure I'm correct on that. Oh, my God, I can't see. Listener, yeah, Sorry about that if that was loud. This is vintage. I don't know how old I'm going to have to look, read. Curious, but it's very lovely. Moon glow. Nice lemony. Looks like lemons. There's glass on there as well in between. Those are glass pieces. It's nice. This is actually moonstone. Nice moonstone. Now, I watched Gina. Gina gets Gina gets some beautiful jewelry. Um, This is sterling and... Moonstone. I think it's, that's Moonstone. Right, guys? <laughs> I'm kidding. I believe it is. But anyways, um, this one's nice, I think. It's a necklace. It's sterling silver. And this is the first I when I found it. looks like that. Found this in the counter. It glows really lovely. It glows a little different than... I just... I'm going to look it up. I believe that's Moonstone. Oh, it is. It's not a regular stone. It's glass of some sort. It's nice, though. That's sterling silver. I hear cats and they're misbehaving. All right, done with those necklaces. Let me move on to some of these things. I found myself a couple clowns. This pin needs a pin back. Look how cute he is. Adorable. From that one. And look, went on a bike, a big bike, to add to my collection. My frog that is missing legs, I swear. I don't, I guess it's supposed to lay like that. But, like... He looks like, I didn't notice that, but it's missing half of its body. It's cute. They're cute. They're, they're not more valuable. I found a Hattie Carnegie, Carnegie, let me show you that. And that Birchbacker looks paste set stones. Um, this is a glowy little friendship frog. Enough of the frogs. Look. This is nice. It's a vin vintage flower brooch. This is the Hattie Carnegie um, tiger brooch. It has her cartouche is under there. Oops. I don't know if it helped, but there you go. It's 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 in good shape. Nothing's missing. I was happy to find that. This is sterling. I have to test it, actually, to make sure it's not just plated. It's marked 925. But it's a fabulous bracelet, and I will scratch test it to make sure it's nice. Looks like it. Looks like sterling, but it's marked 925 in there, and it's really nice, actually. Box clasp, and it's nice. This is glass, I believe. I will test it to make sure it's not jade, but I think it's a glass bangle. It's a nice one. I don't think it's gemstone, but I'll make sure. Still, glass bangles are nice as well. Let me put that somewhere safe. What else do I have? Cool. This is cool. I found some big diaper pins, I think. I don't know why I bought them, but look at this. I don't see a mark, a mark maker on it. I thought it was really nice. So. Look, this is just beautiful. 
I don't see a maker's mark on it. I'm going to look again. It's really lovely. You've got, um, there's your emerald cut, I think, like rectangles and circles and I oh got very lovely. It's nice. It's about two inches. Um, she's cute, I think. It's cute. It's in costume, obviously, but this and this, I don't, I think I got to check my crab back there for gold too. I don't think he is. I'll test him, but he looks like it. Look at this. I'll test him before I put it up. If I put 14 K in my, or 10 K or something in there, you know, it's cool. But this is lovely, isn't it? I think it's opal glass. I don't think they're real opals or, oh wait. Okay. Okay. This, I don't know. I got to look at this. I may send Gina a video. Gina doesn't feel well. You guys know who Gina is. Keep her in your thoughts. Um, I'm not going to bother her with this today. If you watch it, Gina, what is that? I said opal glass, opal, or something else. I don't know. It's fabulous, though, and I'm going to research it for a while. When I get something like this that I don't know what it is, I keep it to try to find out what it is. Did I show? Oh, I did show you this. Oh, this is amazing. I don't know if it's a Napier book piece. Um, i got to get the tag off, the string off it, but look at that. This is marvelous. That is Napier. I, I laid it down. It's marvelous. Hmm. I don't know. Price me. I have to check it out. I'll go and I'll look in a book. I have the encyclopedia right beside me. I call it that because it is huge. It looks like an encyclopedia or a phone book or something. This is um, Austrian crystal. This is vintage. I have to look at it. and I mean, it's Austrian crystal. I think it's brass, but it's nice. It's connected onto here. <laughs> it's very pretty, actually. I know it's, I mean, it's vintage, I believe. All right, so that's nice. Let me close it up. Oh, not doing a good job. That's okay. Who cares, right? Um, all right. Oh, this is for Resi. If you're in here, remember you bought those six. I found another today. You said you were going to gift them to your daughter to decorate with. I found a red one. So I'm going to put this in your bag. I'll be sending it out tomorrow if you paid. If not, when you pay, I'll put it in your bag and you'll have seven instead of six. I figured I'd pick it up since I saw it there. Since you bought a collection of them. Um, you know, you bought the other six. This is cool. I'll show you the crab in a minute. I think he may just be plated, but I'm going to test them. I'm not going to do it now. I'll do it. That looks like there's an egg under there. This is a set. I thought it was kind of cool. It's glass. Um, that looks, that's brass. And looks like there's an egg under there, doesn't it? These are art glass. Jewelry. They're nice. Um, oh, I found a... This is a Perman Permani, yeah, I guess I'm hungry. I haven't eaten much today. Um, <laughs> Permani. This is Premier Design Firecracker Necklace. This is real, this is dyed, but it's real coral. It's a firecracker set. I found it with the bracelet this time. And this is coral, Premier Design dyed coral bracelet and necklace set. It's nice. Let me move that over here. Okay. Um, let's pull this close so I can show you. This is an Ann Klein, I believe. I have to look at it. There on one of these little squares back here, there is one her lions on it. So I'm thinking like like 1980s Ann Klein. Although I don't know it. This is copper and crystals or cubic zirconians or something. Um, one of these blocks has a cat on it. Like right there. Let me see if I can show you it. It's kind of cool. I'm surprised I even noticed it with my eyes, but do you see that? Got my nails look bad that close up. I'm sorry. They don't look that bad. They're clean. I just scrub my hands. I do keep my hands clean. Um Okay, I think that's a cat. Who's it guys? Look. I swear that's the inclined cat. I don't know, maybe not. I'm going to have to look at this closer. This is lovely, though. Those look like cubic zirconians to me, close up like that. Um, very nice bracelet, though, copper or copper finish. Don't quote me on that. Um, this is Anne Klein. Sometimes when I'm in a store, if there's one piece that's at the, that design or there's more, so that could be, although it doesn't mean it is. This is Anne Klein. It's nice, like, swirly star. Two-toned color, silver tone, and gold tone. 
she's pretty. Little cameo. Um, gold tone costume. Of course, I thought these earrings were pretty cool. They're like inlay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> They're wood, I think, and that's inlaid colors. It's cool. There's that. This is a simple brooch, but it's very pretty. It looks kind of like Japan. Um, I don't think it's very vintage of it. It's nice nonetheless. Those are glass rhinestones of multiple red, like red and pink. Um, here's the crab. I gotta test him. I, I don't think he's gold. Um, I'll test him. He's cool. He's gold plated. Even if he's only gold plated, he's adorable. He has some weight to him. Oh, I just dropped him. He didn't break. Um, I haven't bent him or anything. You know, gold softer. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to bend him and destroy it. There's this. It's a bird in a cage. Different things on here. I don't know what this is. Kind of looks like a sweet romance or something like that, but I didn't see a tag on it. I'll look. I will look to see as a tassel. thought it was a nice bracelet. I believe it's like a brass finish. I don't think it's pure brass. This is New York. And this, looks, this is nice, actually. Look at the tubes. It's all strung on a gold tone chain. And these are very loose sidey looking. You have the balls with the crystals or rhinestones. And then these cubes and circles. And it's nice. I think it's nice. Um... This is um, House Pins by Lucinda. This is a nice one. And a bird in a bird house, bird bath. And it's really pretty. I find them quite often. This is, um, I need my magnifying glass. I forget what this, Liz Tech. It's a little star that's glass and little there's a little tag back there too. And some writing like they do. It's a tiny one. I've found a number of these. I've sold a few of them. Um, this is black faceted glass. Very lovely with a spring ring clasp. And it does have separators of glass in between. This is very nice actually. It's a nice one. Um, I liked, I thought this was cool as well. I did not see the earrings that would match the black in white uh ne necklace I, uh, I i sold if morty if you're on here i didn't see them sorry they they must have sold them but look at this that reminds me of a barber shop type thing or a piece of candy and then it has the this type of plastic clasp here that has a spring ring inside of it i mean a barrel not a spring ring it's kind of cool it's different i thought it was cool these are modern there's a uh, fish but it's a modern brooch is what I'm saying. I can tell by looking at that. Um, this as well. But it's nice. It's pretty. It's very sparkly with all those rhinestones all over it. They're on glass. And that's a, a plastic faux pearl. It's really pretty. I think it's pretty. It's not extremely vintage or anything though. This is a dancer. Cool. It's a little older. I don't. I don't know exactly. I can't tell. Be looking, at it, but it has rhinestones or crystals like sad in the body. That, like see them all over it. And two dragonflies. I'm showing everything because why not? Cute. Oh my god! Here's the big diaper pins. Um, I think these are diaper pins. This one is a pin that actually will go on your clothing and. It doesn't open. It's just a pin. Okay, that's a pin. And I think these are diaper pins, <clears throat> but I bought them because I'm sure these will have some purpose for something. Not a diaper. Not for me. And the baby doesn't wear cloth diapers. He wears um, pampers or loves. I forget which ones. Huggies, I think, actually. This is kind of cool. Look. I don't know exactly what that is, but there you go. <laughs> it's a pin. I don't know what this is. Like, what does that have to do with anything there? Let's put it in front of the pink. Look at it. It's a brooch. A pin. 
I don't know what that's supposed to do. This is a Russian lacquer. It's on a card explaining the, what's the processes and so forth here, how they're made, but it's nice. Leave it on a little piece of paper. I found, I had a, a silver tone one of these. Uh, this is an Avon telephone brooch. I now found a gold tone. I think I sold the silver tone, or I may not have. I may still have it in there. And look, I found another one. It's Avon. It's cute. They have cute, a very cute jewelry like that, I think. I'll test him for silver. I think it's pewter, but sun and moon and stars on sun. This one's nice. This is a miniature locket. It's pretty cool. Miniature locket hanging. I thought that was neat. And this, I don't know, OE, it's a company. I think it's costume. I mean, it is costume. I don't know if it's high end or not. I don't think, I think it's like low to low end to modern end. I don't want to sound like that, but this, I don't know who it is. When I looked up the company, their jewelry didn't go for much, but this is cool. Um, it's a nice set. I have to look it up again. I don't know if I had the right company. This is the tag. Look, I've never heard of them before. Again, it's a new name. An OE or an EO, you see that? It's a really nice set. I think it's cool. It's um, plastic, it's glowy. Looks like a moon glow. Then I have another diaper pen. <laughs> I don't know why I bought those. This is stone. Like agate or something. I think it's agate. It's not amber. It's an agate of types. Um, sort look. That's really. That looks cool over on that side. And then hoops, plastic hoops, acrylic plastic, wood. I got look at these. They have studs on them on that side, and they're wooden. Acrylic. Or plastic I mean we'll just call it that again I can't identify if it's acrylic or not I have no idea how people can okay so those are two pairs of plastic and a pair of wood and that's it that's well not that that's not it that's a lot that took me a long time to go source all of this I went I have bags here as well oh my what is this let's I guess I could show these later I pick these up from time to time um, like Christmas pins and uh, little angel pins because sometimes you can find like really good stuff in there so I'll look at those later but that's what I found this took me hours to source it all and I hand picked it and I think I have some decent things here hopefully something that you think's nice um comment down below if there's anything in particular you thought was extra nice uh, if you want if you don't that's fine too I um again it's Tuesday evening it's about 10 p.m. I will be pa wrapping up packages for shipment and then I will retire for tonight, and this video will get um, uploaded on Wednesday afternoon. So if I hear from you, I will not get back with you till Wednesday evening, probably. I will see you if you are able to come at my Thrifty Thursday on Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope you have a good evening. Or depending on your time that you're seeing this, I mean, okay, I'm supposed to be talking Wednesday afternoon, right? Have a good day. Or good night. Thank you. Thanks.